Hello Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. I am Aditya Mishra. Today's video we're going to talk about system engineer interview experience. Yes, you heard it right. Exact interview questions. 26 batch recent interview and preparation tips for success free resources and preparation tips we're gonna uh, discuss here. But the main perspective is currently the 26 batch on campus hiring for Infosys SC is going on as well as for off campus people of 25 and 24 batch is also applying for the same. So in this video, you will get an air expert that what actually interview question is all about and what interview guys are specifically asking. Okay. So Infosys interview, like system engineer interview experience, interview difficulty, easy medium duration, generally last 20 to 30 minutes interview flow, start with a short self introduction. This is a very important part because if you are able to speak this particular self introduction with confidence and whatever you have prepared, you have omit the same, then definitely your confidence level will be boosted throughout the interview. Okay, but let's say you have prepared it, but you are not able to deliver at that particular aspect, then your confidence level would be slightly down. But I recommend recommend you to slightly down that is fine, but it should not be that like going another down then. Okay, so followed by technical or project based question that is most important question like whatever project you have created, it should be known by you. Okay, it might be a build or not build, but you actually know about end to end thing what is actually happening and if any questions can be asked to you, you should be able to answer ends with HR or behavioral question which most of the survey based company follow the same. Depends on the interviewer, the type of the depth question may vary based on resume, project, interview and focus area. Let's say people, I saw many people in the mock interview, I personally saw the resumes where everything is mentioned that this guy is web developer, Android developer, cloud engineer, AI agents. So if you're giving me this kind of resume, I can ask you tons of questions which you should not be able to answer because you're just giving me the Bible, isn't it? Of all of these Aspect, whatever you know, you just ask me, that would be the scenario for your case, isn't it? So you should have only a specific technology based resume. It is fine to, you have explored another technology well, because no one can master any of the technology. So you should have a single grip that, okay, I will be having merge type project and I will do merge type project in such a way that if someone asks me the question regarding my project, I should be able to answer any relevant question out of the box. Okay. So uh, this would be the SE interview experience. Now, a uh, most recent interview experience would be candidate. Okay, I, I got a 1.2. So, if Lexi, your interviewer is from Java and you are from Python background, then question would be less specific to Java. It would be less specific to Python. They would be focusing on your technical knowledge. Okay, because interviewer is not the ex interview doesn't have the expertise over your technology. I'm just giving a hypothetical situation. It might be they have or not. But yes, if you are from Java, then it, it would be slightly higher because Java interviewer, Java candidate, then definitely you can expect tons of Java questions right there because they both are familiar. So it is totally dependent upon the interviewers as well. Like what knowledge they have. If they have the knowledge, they will definitely test you on. Okay, so be prepared. So most recent interview question. Candidate was asked to give a self introduction. Next question were based asked all oops concept. So yes, as this particular candidate, I always supplied this interview experience to the content team. So I believe that self in introduction, he nailed it because he took multiple mock interviews and we have found tons of flaws because people do use proficient into the, uh, tell me about yourself. So proficient word is a big word that can turn your interview to somewhere else. I'm a proficient certified uh, problem solver. Take it the DSA problems. Simple. So they, they will test whether you have a proficient or whether you are proficient with the problem solver or not. Okay. So these kind of things you need to check out. And these kind of things only check when you are sitting in a simulated actual interview. Otherwise, these kind these small small mistakes can snatch the opportunity from you. So uh next questions were asked on OOPS concept with basically most of the company to ask. Candidate explain the four pillars of OOPS uh, with the relevant example. Finally, candidate was asked to describe the favorite project briefly. This usually happens when you have three, four projects into your resume and they are not sure at which project to ask. So they usually ask candidate, what is your favorite project or what project that you have spent more time on? Okay, so you can tell about that. Question around the tech stack in the project, like why you have used this tech stack? etc, etc, why you have used React, why you have not gone to Angular or 
any specific reason to create this project what is the context behind it so these kind of questions can be asked to you followed by some basic hr questions important a uh, discussion around certifications and group a uh, project contribution fine depending on the certifications people do write the certification which we, which they have got it or got it from somewhere or they have photoshopped anything can happen but i personally got the students who got or who reading the certificate in their first semester okay and in second semester now this is currently seven semester going on and they actually don't know about their certifications why like how they got when i ask some tons of questions they end up saying that i did this question in the first semester so it has like memory is totally blurry so why you have mentioned if you are not able to answer those questions see if you have mentioned the cloud certificates or database certificate so you should be ready with all kind of questions like the fundamental questions okay so if you have mentioned certificate stand on it otherwise don't mention interview experience too self introduction explain any project like any one project that you have created question related to ai and prompt engineering this usually happens when candidate has mentioned the buzzwords into the uh, resume that okay in the news in the youtube channels i saw the candidate like uh, sir is talking about ai agents i should mention the ai agent without letting without knowing it they saw the introductory video of ai agent and that is that and ai prompt something so if you are mentioning these things when you will get questions over here because these are the buzzwords buzzword definitely stand out to it do the service based companies in service based companies if you mention a single buzzword let's say blockchain this is a block this is a buzzword which rare student do mention in the resume and you have it so you should get you would definitely get the question over it okay to test whether this guy know or he has just uh, mentioned these things into his or her resume because of fomo okay so please be stand on it whatever you are mentioning and keep on repeating the same statements dbms basic question asset properties and normalization see this question was asked to the candidate now if you are a candidate and you are looking over this video to know about uh, interview experience so like this video because this video is helpful for you and share with your friends too so how you will prepare okay asset properties is asked to him so i will also study about the commands what all commands are there in sql query like select is dql at dcl tcl this kind of things then asset property study the real time examples as well okay if someone ask me okay can you give me the real time example of durability so you should able to answer that normalization if candidate got normalization i should focus about the types of normalization property that any type can be asked to me as well as i will focus on denormalization because these are the subset questions that easily can be formed let's say if in the interview before you there would candidate who got inside the interview room then they are normalization to him now when he came out he told you all the questions so interviewer also knowing that that you going to ask the same question to the candidate too so he will just change the subset okay if normalization they will ask about the normalization if asset properties they can ask example of asset properties okay they can ask ask you a uh, transaction like uh, yeah tcl like transaction control commands can you tell me how to write it these type of things you should prepare like this if you getting into this interview experience there would be more interview experience over the net focus the subset questions around it okay normalization denormalization asset commands sql query uh, all element of your types of kind question need to do join question study the all types of joins so that any join if they ask you you will be able to answer hr questions like are you comfortable with shift relocate while forces now few people the big big minds they say that i am not open to relocation i am not open to night shift if company is providing cap then then only i will be doing the work man they have people who will say yes i will be working every time so they will hire you or them isn't it the candidate or in the interview you should say yes 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 you need to sell yourself to the hr that yes i am the one who are looking for i i don't need anything i just need experience please provide it so that is the thing the company also bought afterwards what do you want to say you say but right now they want to hire a candidate who will work in infosys and give generate profits for them okay whatever things that infosys need to provide to you that would be there so any questions any questions do ask a relevant question don't ask a, okay what what would my job here the way you are asking totally differs or the way you are asking in the interview it matters okay you are not talking to your friends cool now what you need to focus on 
Strong cell reproduction with clear structure and confidence. Ready to explain any one of your project purpose, tech stack, uh, your role into your project. It's very important because all of the interviewers are looking for a team player. Revise OOPS concepts and their real world examples. Go through DBMS basic like Domino key joins. As I said, please go through these topics already. Already one shot videos like crash course videos is created over here and real time examples are filled with it. I will pay, I will just tag that series video like one shot video or a crash course in my description below you can just click on the playlist and it's free you can go through it what do you need to focus on understand your tech stack deeply okay why you have used it you should totally know deeply okay you have used react what is the uh, features of react you should be able to say prepare for ai prompts and engineering basics which you have uh, mentioned or whatever technology you have mentioned review certifications and team work project contribution practice common hr questions relocation shifts wine forces end with a question with the interviewer to show interest and engagement clear so this is a candidate who share one of the interview experience and yes interviews are also depending upon the regions in the region they might ask you some different questions but you should be knowing that what all questions are currently going on pan india so yes the result is got shortlisted because this candidate we have mentored it personally and fortunately got very easy question but we have tested in all aspects it's code programming oops uh, dbms a uh, core subject cs questions hrmr questions and many more so he is trained for the worst case as well. For these kind of situations, you will definitely nail it because we know the performance of him. Okay. So you also want to nail any kind of situations. It can be this one and it can be this one. And 100 bucks of investment can give you lakhs of your return. Okay. So think about it because if you got an opportunity and if you tell your parents, then definitely this is a great Diwali gift that you can give to your parents. Okay. Because this is the thing when child got shortlisted to somewhere the best part is the parents are like anything like they would be happy like anything okay so in the mock interview hr will be covered here full interview simulation the real experts who have cracked this kind of companies will be there with you inside resume reviews share you on the cake because we'll let you know where your resume has the problem and how you can overcome from them personalized feedback will be provided to you from the people who have cracked this so definitely the guidance would be required so if you are guardian give them with this particular session because we have many people who have gift this session to someone else like i have booked behalf of them Please send the links and whatever to this candidate and grill him and uh, help him to get shortlisted somewhere. And when the candidate got shortlisted, the guardian do text us, yes, thanks for mentoring these candidates and finally making his career up. So yeah, these kind of things, no, like this is only one time, isn't it? One or two times that you want to test yourself. After that, when you get your weakness, no one can stop you to ace any kind of interview opportunities. This isn't one-to-one. -one. I'm not selling any courses. This is one-to-one. -one. You're sitting with a, a mentor and just on the screen and he will be asking you questions or she will be asking you questions and you need to answer those. These are the Infosys videos that you can refer. Okay, so very cool videos out so yes if you want some more interview experience just comment down below we'll be uh, putting up more and i was talking about this crash course playlist you can just focus here it has all the things which are required last minute thing okay it has uh, if some of the topics that you believe it missed yes it missed few of the topics which is not i feel that not relevant to the interview it might be or it might be not this is the cumulative knowledge that we had on the particular stage it might be new questions should be added here i will definitely upgrade it do like me in the comments too but yes this is the last preparation with great content for free is available here so i will just put, put it up in the i button as well you can just watch it and uh, complete your preparation and there are many like success story technology news podcast essential tech mahindra and many more things aligned with uh here okay so start going it prepare because all of thing all of these things are available just your hard work is required share this video friends subscribe this channel because we'll uh, we are looking the help from you and you also get the things from encoding so i will meet you with a new content soon take care